Hi, this is Steve Ruddy, and today we're going to talk about a tool called Flipgrid. Flipgrid's mission is to empower every voice, and it succeeds wildly at that. Um, Flipgrid is really easy to use, it is engaging, it is fun, it is a natural thing for students to communicate in as a way they communicate every day um, through video. So you can jump in, all students need to do is enter a flip code. It's that simple. We're going to talk a little bit about the Flipgrid environment. Uh, this is right off a picture on the front page. As you can see, it's graphically exciting with something that students will love. They can actually, when they put their pictures up, there are different stickers they can put on to kind of have fun with it, engage in with it. Um, when they put up their posting, you'll see over here, these are the replies from the students. So this is really nice. You get to um, have a conversation back and forth with your peers about whatever the project is. Um, what also is nice is over here we have Carly, and Carly might have been somebody who's a little bit shy and she can obscure her face. She doesn't need to make a video that's all about her. Uh, if you're wondering how this applies for school libraries, you can see right now they're talking about a project about a book talk, which is this is fantastic for. Um, what's great about video projects and book talks, or any project really, is that the students were going to put in this extra effort because they know their peers will be watching. It's just a great opportunity for all students to have their voices heard. Um, so it's not like the one who's the loudest in class or the one you're might be inclined to pick on because they raised their hand the highest. Everyone gets a chance to answer. Uh, Flipgrid also helps to reduce anxiety. Rather than being on the spot, you have time to compose your answer. And if you don't like what you did, you can go back and re-record it. What's really nice about Flipgrid is it's very student-centric. Uh, the use of video allows them to work in a way that they're used to communicating in continually, and it makes it very easy for them to get their point across. You know, video is a very natural way for them to explain things as well. And uh, whether that's with robots that they've created something with, or a math problem, or pretty much anything, um, I think the video aspect of this makes it a real success for the students and the teachers. You really feel like there's a new dimension of communication going on. The hardest part we did was the ultrasonic button got to stop. Another one was getting the rotation went backwards, which took well, what you can see here very clearly is that Flipgrid is a great way to show evidence of student learning. You get a very clear idea of not only um, if they learned, but what they learned. And this is a fantastic way to assess things um, in a project-based kind of environment. So here you can see how easy this is to use as an educator. We can pop into a grid. You can see it's my STEAM class for marking period two. I have a number of topics. Some are live, some are not live. This is really nice because you can set this up in advance and you can leave everything hidden. When you're ready or after you teach a lesson, you can simply just click on it to make something active. Um, and this is a really easy way to manage it. Sometimes you don't want to put everything up all at once because um, sometimes you'll have some students jumping ahead and maybe you want everybody to move along at the same pace. So right up here, I can ask them questions. And when I do flip grades, I like to say, hey, if you go through, when you do yours, just make sure you respond to each one of my questions and you'll do a great job. This gives them a real great jumping off point, something to hold on to. They don't feel like they don't know what to do. They know exactly what to do. As you can see here, it tells you how many responses you have, tells you how many replies you've had to those responses from students, it tells you how many views you have. So you can see how much they're looking at each other's. You can see how long that students have been engaged in this particular Flipgrid. Um, so let's go to Noemi's Flipgrid. I used the ultrasonic sensor towards the end and I set it to four inches so it wouldn't bump into the wall. It was kind of hard because when I tried to make the robot turn, it would turn the other direction. And let's see, here's Jamie's. I found the parallel parking to be easier. And right down here, you see the responses. So let's see Brian's response to Jamie's. I Jamie. what you're coming from about that ultrasonic sensor. I mean, I agree. Great job. Um, I'm standing, actually. Teachers will enjoy using Flipgrid as well. There are a lot of fantastic management tools here for your Flipgrid. So if we click on Actions and take a quick look, one of the great ones is um, a lot of times now we're co-teaching or we're working with another teacher, and we can easily add a co-pilot or another teacher to our project. It is that simple. Um, when you're finished, I, I work in quarters, so what's really nice for me is I can actually just duplicate my grid. So I'm going to do that right now. Another thing that's great about Flipgrid is they're always adding new features. There's a fantastic phone app which makes it convenient to create, manage, and use your grids from anywhere. There are automated transcriptions, so every video now has closed captioning features. 
A great feature of Flipgrid is their immersive reader, which really helps you to meet the needs of all your learners. You can click on the immersive reader icon and it will bring you to a screen where it will read the text of your Flipgrid. You can go in, you can change things like the speed of the reading, you can change the male or female voice. You can even come up here and you can translate your Flipgrid into all of these different languages. It's pretty amazing. You also can activate a picture dictionary if you use BoardMaker. Uh, the immersive reader is really an amazing tool for educators. Another feature I want to talk about quickly is Flipgrid AR. It allows you to the ability to stick a Flipgrid video anywhere by posting a QR code in the real world. The video is triggered when the QR code is scanned by the Flipgrid mobile app. This makes it easy for bulletin boards to come to life. You can place codes in and around your library to explain things such as how to search the catalog or what's in a certain section or how to self-check out a book. You can provide on-demand answers anywhere. Here's an example of Flipgrid AR being used for summer reading. Me happy. What make me happy? Dogs make me happy. So in closing, Flipgrid is a powerful tool that will allow students to demonstrate their understanding and knowledge while communicating with their peers. And it's also a lot of fun.